Good evening, Brighton. Good evening. It says, it's lovely to be here. It's lovely to be back again, as Stephen says. It is lovely to be here, though, because I've just come back from a spa holiday, you hey, gentlemen, uh, which was shit. <laughs> yeah, just a week working in a little supermarket. So it is, it's nice to be here though, I was outside the venue just before the show, I saw a, a woman holding the hand of a small child, yeah, so if you know a small child that's missing a hand, <laughs> I think I know who's got it, so uh, yeah, it's good. I was, I was feeling a bit low energy today, I knew I had to come in and entertain you lovely people, so I went and had, uh, I'm a little bit new agey, I went and had a coffee enema today, we're in the right place, Any, anyone here ever had a coffee enema? No, you don't want to admit to it. If you, if you don't know what a coffee enema is, by the way, it's like a normal enema, but you basically get a cup of coffee, a funnel and some tubing, and you put the tubing up your backside there, up your bum hole, you pour the coffee down the funnel, goes down there, goes up the tube, the coffee goes up your backside, and the caffeine from the coffee is absorbed instantaneously into your bloodstream. And I'll be honest with you, sir, if you're feeling low energy, it is amazing. <laughs> really does, really does wake you up does, however, get you thrown out of Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And don't use a Grande Americano, it takes forever. <laughs> and don't make the mistake I made, let the coffee cool down first. Yeah. <laughs> It's nice to be here. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I had a very sad childhood growing up, ladies and gentlemen. My family, were, thank you very much. My family were very poor growing up. We were so poor that we lived in an anorak. Yeah, and I tell you, it was tough growing up in the hood. <laughs> and as a child, I was hit by a meteorite. As you can imagine, that had a huge impact on me. As a child, I was addicted to Helter Skelters. Yeah, my parents were worried that I was spiralling out of control. <laughs> uh, my mum and dad got divorced as well when I was little. That's sad, isn't it? My mum was having an affair with a demolitions expert. Yeah, bloody home wrecker. <laughs> I went to the School of Hard Knocks, yeah, or as we called it, Jehovah's Witness College. <laughs> No, I did have an interesting child today. My dad, my dad was in the army growing up. I come from a military background. It's weird because my surname's Cowards, but my dad was in the army. Uh, my dad was a military engineer. Yeah, he specialised in clearing minefields. Yeah, he always wanted me to follow in his footsteps. <laughs> my my granddad was in the army as well. My granddad was uh, was the regimental Christmas tree. Yeah. yeah, he didn't see any action, but he was highly decorated. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm married, we've got the guys here getting married, that's fantastic. I, I'm, I'm married, uh, I've been married uh, a couple of years now. I'm uh, married, uh, and my wife's kinky. Yeah. yeah, or as she prefers to say, she's got a twisted spine. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it, it was love at first sight, though, when I saw my wife. It genuinely was. I, saw, I first saw her while she was working at a zoo. Yeah, there she was, covered in monkey shit. <laughs> Straight away, I thought, she's a keeper. <laughs> yeah. she's, I do love my wife, though. She, she's brilliant, although uh, my wife's got a foot fetish. Yeah, which is unfortunate, because I've only got six inches. <laughs> so, so I've had, had a weird day today. Yeah, I went, I went, to, the, went to the garden centre today. Yeah, just spent two hours standing in the middle of my garden.
Yeah. Went to see my granddad today as well. My granddad's a brilliant fellow, right? He's one of these old people who's very wise, my granddad. And he has loads of sayings. But his favourite saying is, never go back. He always says, in life, you should never go back. <laughs> Which I think is why he lost his job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as captain of the cross-channel ferry. <laughs> He's uh, <laughs> still over there in Cali, bless him. So, Lady Joan, Lady Joan, when I was asked to do a charity gig for the rehabilitation of sex offenders, yeah, I was touched. <laughs> so, uh, that's been back in the news, hasn't it? Have you seen this about Operation U Tree? Back in the news. Of course, all you lovely people, you probably know about this, don't you? Operation U Tree in the UK course is uh, an investigation into sexual abuse in the 1970s and 80s uh, but of course in Ireland Operation U Tree is any arrest involving three people <laughs> is some of the youth tree over there only just got that <laughs> So it's a, it's a new year, isn't it? New year, new me. I've decided to get fit, ladies and gentlemen. I've started going to the gym. I, I, you probably don't know this because you don't know what I was like before, but I was, I was quite porker and I've started going to the gym. Uh, I went to the gym today, yeah, jumped on the cross trainer. Yeah, although, to be fair, he wasn't cross before I jumped on him. <laughs> uh, a bit intense, aren't they? Uh, but I went to the gym and I, I found out something today. I found out that the word gymnasium, I don't know if you know this, the word gymnasium in ancient Greek meant naked exercise. Ah. But you try telling that to the receptionist at Fitness First. <laughs> yeah, and the police. <laughs> Although the policeman who turned up, he was a lovely fellow, he was an albino. I thought, well, it's a fair cop. <laughs> <laughs> So I get confused very easily later on. I was in London today. This confused me. See what you think, right? How come the National Portrait Gallery is actually wider than it is tall? <laughs> Saw one of those lists the other day as well. 101 places to visit before you die. Yeah, didn't suggest a hospital. Here's a thought I had the other day. Can you get acupuncture to cure pins and needles? <laughs> someone told me the other day as well, someone told me that 40 is the new 30. Yeah, but you try explaining that to a speed camera. <laughs> so I, I do get confused as well. I'm sexually very naive as well, right? But someone told me this the other day, right? Someone told me that poppers, poppers help with anal sex. You all heard this? You must have been bright, haven't you? Poppers help with anal sex. Yeah, but when I tried them, I just ended up with an arse full of confetti. <laughs> I not see what the attraction is myself, do you? Know, so, uh, so, uh, so I've, uh, I've had a very, quite a weird week. I got diagnosed with IBS this week, ladies and gentlemen, irritable bowel syndrome. You all know what this is? Yeah, it's not very nice, is it? It means I don't get much warning when I have to go to the toilet. I had to go to the doctors about this, and the doctor was a lovely fellow. He said, come on in, Tony. He said, first of all, I need to ask you a personal question. He said, what is your sexual orientation? And I thought about it for a moment and said, well, to be honest, doctor, usually facing my computer monitor. He then said, Tony, I need you to keep a record of every time you go to the toilet. So I went out and bought a notepad to keep track of this in, which, of course, I've christened my logbook. <laughs> so, I'll, leave, I'll leave you lovely people in a moment because I'm just doing a short spot tonight and you've got more brilliant acts. Uh, but like I say, uh, I, do, I do get confused very easily. Uh, and things. This is a sh uh, here's a fact, though, I realised today. You can take this away, amaze your friends with this, right? If you rearrange, right, if you rearrange the letters of postmen, they get bloody annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I 
much. And I'll leave you because it's traditional, isn't it, to end when you end. You say it's traditional to end on a song. So a very quick uh, burst of song, Lady Joanne. When I was just a little boy, I asked my mother, what would I be? Would I be famous? Would I be rich? Is what she said to me. No. Lady <laughs> Joanne, you've been lovely. You've got a brilliant night ahead of you. I've been Tony Coward. So you watch for you.